Hey, what's going on heroes? And I say heroes because whether you're back for another video or this is the first time you're watching, it doesn't matter. You're here and you're watching it, so you're a hero in my book, all right? Thank you for being here. This is going to be a recap slash review of Eve. The number one issue just came out from Boom Studios. I gotta say, I, I usually do the review at the end, but this one, I gotta say, it's an 8 out of 10. Like, immediately I, I need to say it because it's a great book. It's a great introduction. Uh, it doesn't really give too much away, but again, it, it's a great book. So I, I just jumped straight into it. Love this book. Can't wait for, uh, to, to read the next issue. Kind of happy that, that it's a, a five-issue miniseries, but uh, at the same time, it's like, oh, man, I kind of wish it was an ongoing because I could read it for a longer period. But this does kind of begin in a way that, that says it needs to wrap up. So that it is what it is. It does open up. So here comes the recap. It opens up with uh, a bunch of like little crabs climbing some tree and Eve saying... Um, or narrating kind of what they're doing, uh, how they're surviving out there, uh, and and basically the observing the these crabs, and the main thing that she said in the very first page, and she also says it at the very end, is um, you can't give up. These crabs know that they can't give up, but you can't give up because if you give up, you die or you don't survive or something. I forget. I ruined it. I completely butchered that. But basically, you can't give up or you won't survive. Something, something along those lines and thought that was great um, then you we see that Eve is just talking to herself she's narrating her life immediately I get a sense of like so much energy from her she is just like just full of life and she's by herself you know so so just to get that from from the from the emotion of the text to to the art around I think the artist did a really great job on this. Um, and then we hear her dad calling and kind of just talking to her, uh, asking where she's at. Where she's at? She needs to stop talking to herself. And then again, it almost sounded like she was talking to somebody else, like to her dad, and back and forth, back and forth. But after like about a page and a half, I realized, oh, she's she's still talking to herself. Okay, and, and it just she did it so well that that I thought that she was talking to somebody else, but. Um, we get we get to this vault like home where she meets up with her dad. They start having dinner. She says she wants to see New Orleans instead of the beach. So the dad changes the the um, like the background. It's almost like a like a screensaver or something on the wall. She says Maxine, which is like I'm assuming Alexa in that time. Um, Maxine changed it to to New Orleans, and they see a live video feed of New Orleans um, people at, at some place there and she's she really likes it uh, but then they start talking and, and her dad says something about her being 11 years old and how it came a lot faster than he thought and kind of just the way that they they're back and forth is because she's like is my time with you almost up it came by faster than I thought um, it almost made it sound like her dad wasn't really there so I, at this point, haven't read uh, ahead or anything, I'm thinking he's either a memory, she's imagining all this, because she's already talking to herself like pretty well, so she could just be imagining this, it's a hallucination, or it could be like a hologram, and she plays this kind of hologram every single day or something, I don't know, I'm making things up. I will say that the first two things, two movies that came to mind when I saw this, and when I and when I read it, the, when I first saw the the cover, the first movie that came to mind was AI, but with uh, Haley Joel Osment. Uh, it just reminded me of when he he was trying to get to. What was it? It's been a long time since I've seen that movie, but he's he's trying to get to the Blue Fairy or something, and like him being in the water, around this like, fairy tale land or whatever. That's that's what it reminded me of right here. This cover, and then. Um, by the end of this issue, I'm reminded of Eve from Wally, uh, the Pixar. Is it Pixar? I'm gonna say Pixar. Uh, that Pixar film, because uh, they they're kind of they kind of had the same job. So um, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but the reason I started thinking holograms and all that stuff was because of AI was already in my mind, right? Um, so by the end of their dinner. 
the dad says, all right, it's time. We need to go do this. She's about to go on a trip. Uh, he's opening all these doors and then finally when they get to their destination uh, he says you need to do this so um, she puts her hand up on like this hand scanner thing and it kind of immediately like engulfs her in this shadow and and the rest and you know, she's just like am I dead she doesn't know but then she wakes up in a chamber and um, she, you know, the chamber opens, the water comes out, she's about to throw up, and then she hears a voice say, like, you don't throw up, don't spit up, you're, you're too old for that. And she looks up, and there's a teddy bear there, and so she gets freaked out, of course. Um, and then there's the whole concept of, I took the form of what I thought would, would uh, comfort you or something like that. It's always, you always see that in the movies or, or in a book or things, so it follows that line, whatever, it was all right. But the bear's name is Wexler, and it's creepy. Like at one point, he's carrying Eve on her on his back because uh, Eve doesn't have muscle control. She she hasn't used her muscles, um, and he, he can see his legs just like come out from the bottom of the of the feet. Like it, he's taller, and it's just it's so creepy. I don't I don't know how else to explain it. It's the stuff of nightmares. But hopefully, he's he's a good person or whatever in this he's an android he was programmed by her father to help her uh with her mission um he explains to her that it's been 20 years since since she went into the chamber which it's another thing i'm confused on because she says was i was i ever really in the island where where the book started which tells me was she just seeing all of this like so everything that we've read so far was that like a, a hallucination kind of training module kind of like the matrix thing or or was she really in this island and was she really in this chamber for 20 years i don't know uh, hopefully we get the the answer soon but it was just a little, the the way they worded it was a little confusing um if you understood it let me know please tell me what you thought um but Wexler does explain like I cannot tell you everything at one time my um, my programming will stops me from from telling you everything so you're not overwhelmed um, but she continues asking questions uh, they take a look at that live feed of New Orleans now and it's underwater and her her first thought was like are the people okay and, and he's like what are you talking about you know it's been underwater again for 20 years and that's when she discovers it's been 20 years um, and then, so then she, she realizes, or, uh, Wexler tells her like, Hey, this is the mission. We're going to go to that Island. We're going to be planting seeds like Johnny Appleseed. He does. He's like, that may have been a, a folklore story kind of thing, but it is based on the truth. And we're going to be doing the same thing, but with, uh, seeds that were specially designed by her father. So Eve, she's going to be the savior of the, of the new world, hopefully, uh, she can she can rebuild it so that's already a huge weight on her shoulders second she finds out her dad is still alive and he is on that island but he's he's dying and uh, it's up to her or it's not up to her but she she can save him so she needs to get there quick so she doesn't even herself she the lecture tells her to go go to bed you know take all this in but she starts talking to herself and she goes out into the world and looks upon the whole world that's been underwater and she says you know like i cannot have my dad wait so she they're immediately about to set out um it ends with her and wexler looking out at the manhattan skyline and the buildings are all covered underwater except for a few tall buildings um and that's it and, and the last line is like if i stay if I give up, I won't survive Some, somewhere around the, uh, that line. Um, so again, 8 out of 10, just because it's an intriguing story, and the, and, the, and the main character is just, immediately, I, I could feel her energy. I know how to like read her. She's, she, it's not, it's not um, or what kind of person is she or not. She's definitely like there to save. She's mission-driven. She's there to save her father. She's going to plant these seeds. Um, and she's 11 years old and she's already like has this focus, you know, so I don't know, I, I immediately, I love it and so I, I'm here for it, I'm here for the next four issues, um, 
eight out of ten. Uh, the reason it doesn't get a ten is just because it's a number one issue. It's not going to be perfect. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's Eve. If you read it, let me know what you thought about it. Um, put down comments down here or anything. Um, like I said, you guys are heroes to me, so be a real hero. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and share this with your friends. Any Anyone you think that is, is a nerd enough to want to wanna go through these little recaps and reviews of, of these comic books, let them know and send them my way. Other than that, thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Ha, 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 ha.